Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to add multiple videos in Camtasia 2020. All right, so I just created this multiple nine grid video right here, and you'll understand it when you see it. I recently got the uh, Click and Grow Smart Garden 9, and I was showing the timeline of me setting it up and then the weeks of it growing and then me eating uh, the stuff that I grew. So I'll play it right here. This is nine videos playing at the same time. They don't initially start off playing at the same time, but they will eventually, and you'll see what I mean. So there's the first video there up in the corner, then the middle, and I'm just showing like the weeks of the growth that was happening. I was so excited for this thing. We're growing lettuce, uh, tomatoes, and basil. And so you can see that as we go on, it ends up being nine videos, which is really cool. It's like a cool, you know, type effect in the video. And it works great with this because there was a timeline going on, you know, from weeks one to six. The bottom row is all week six, but there are different parts. The first week six is just showing it. The second part is me actually harvesting. And then the third part is me showing me eating a, uh, a lettuce wrapped burger. All right, so that was the video. And let me show you how I did that. So first thing is, let me tell you right off the bat, the more videos that you stack upon each other, as you see, the laggier your computer is going to be, the, the more strain it's going to be. I have an SSD laptop and when I ended up stacking nine videos, I couldn't play it all the way through because it was just being all glitchy and I had to actually just render the video and then it played normally. What you want to do is however many videos you want, you want to import them into your media bin through here. And so I imported all the videos, um, the setup and then weeks one to six and then the audio because I have music also playing. I always like to put the music down at the bottom. I always just like it to be out of the way because I'm typically going to be building up and adding, you know, text, shapes, other videos on top of things. So I'd rather just the music be at the bottom. So that's typically what I do. Now, how I did this was the first video was going on track two, which was the setup. Initially, when you put a video down on the timeline, it's going to be full screen. So I'll give you an example here. Look over here. When you add a video down, it's going to be full screen. I'll just do the first three. I'll silence this. And then week one. Silence that. And then week two. And then silence that. So you can see that they go full screen. You need to size them accordingly and you need to play around with the size. So I went like this at first, just took the second one. And once you have the first line down, then you can do it for the rest and you can just copy it. So there's all of them. I'm just estimating at that point and I'm going to drag them here, grab the second one and drag it. I can see that there's one here that's like overlapping. This one's overlapping this one. And if you look at the original, you can see that I actually put black border. I put a spacing so that there would be this nice black border separating everything. And that was just like a stylistic thing that I did. So what I needed to do was actually make this smaller. So I'm going to make all these and it's just, you got to play around with it to see what the sizing's going to look like. And oh, that might be too small. So you see that the black line is a lot thicker here. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger.
and then I'm just literally stretching them out, playing around with the size, maybe moving this one over a bit, and I think we're kind of getting there. And then, okay, so that's the first line from unboxing to week one, week two. And then so I generally just went up and started stacking everything. To make it easier on yourself, you want to stack them in order because if you start doing it in different order, it's going to get confusing on the timeline. At least I know here, you know, this is unboxing and then weeks one, two, three, four, five, and six. So just make it easier on yourself and put the videos in order as they are appearing. And then I pretty much just stacked up the rest. Um, you know, week three, week four, week five, and then like I said, week six was the third row where I split that up because I wanted to show the process of the week six, the final week six, then harvesting week six, and then eating week six. Now, you also notice that the videos don't line up like this, and that's so that they come in every three seconds. So I timed it to make it so that the next video comes in three seconds later, then three seconds later after that, up until the ninth video that comes in at 24 seconds. This is, again, a stylistic thing. I didn't want all the videos to show up at the exact same time because I wanted to show the timeline growth of everything because it is plants growing and I felt like if I had just shown everything all at once then it would kind of be like oh where do people look type thing there's so many things happening at once so I wanted to guide their eyes along the timeline and so for that all I did was I started I knew this one wanted to start right away initially and then I would move the cursor so I would see, okay, this is um, at one second, roughly, it's a little over one second. And then I would just move it down to three seconds. Let's just pretend that's exactly three seconds. And then I would move that. And so it would kind of chop the first three seconds. And then I would move along and go to six seconds, just being rough here. And then there you go, that's six seconds. And then those would come in one at a time. Like I said, this is going to be very glitchy when you are typically doing this. It might not play all the way through, but that's okay. You can use the keyboard, the comma key and the period key to kind of slightly drag it through. It's not the best, but I, I, edited each one of these videos so I kind of knew already beforehand what they were going to look like and then I did render it out and I rendered it out about three times because there were some things that I couldn't see initially because I couldn't play it smoothly through but the render didn't take too long because it's a one minute video so I rendered it and I saw what I wanted to change and then I went to go change it and then I rendered it and then I did that about three times until I got the final version which is this one right here. And then at the end here all I just added was a, a fade out. So in my favorites here I've got the fade through black and I just added that at the end of all of the clips just to start fading them out. And you can find that in the transitions you scroll down fade through black I click the star button so that it goes into my favorites so I don't have to go and search for it each time it automatically is in my favorites tab all right so that is how you create a cool multiple video effect in Camtasia if you guys like these kinds of videos I have a nine plus hour Camtasia course with over 70 lectures that you guys can get two months free access to. You guys can head down to the description below and check that out. All right guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.